This is Colin with Skelton Business Equipment. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour through the web page of the new Sharp Color Printer series that came out this year in 2016. Uh, if you type the IP address of the printer into a web browser, it'll open the web interface here. To add emails or uh, network folder scanning destinations, click the address book tab at the top. Click add in the middle of the page. The address name uh, is the, what the button on the screen will read, so just put the user's name in here. And then if you scroll down to the bottom half of the page, you'll notice you have email, FTP, desktop, and network folder. So depending on the type of destination that you want to create, uh, if it's email, you'll just put the email in here and click submit at the bottom. If it's network folder, move to the network folder tab. You'll put the share path in here, computer, share, and then uh, uh, credentials for that. So just a username and password. You'll have to check the change password box. And the password here, and click submit. You can choose the file type uh, that this destination will default to. You can see here you have a ton of op options on these new machines. Uh, you can even tell it to OCR, which will convert the document into an editable format and click submit and, or if you're going to put several in you can click submit and register next. Uh, next I'll show you underneath system settings you have the network settings area and if you try to access this area it will ask you to log in as an administrator. So you can see here you have your IP address setting, you have your uh, the network name settings, DNS settings, SMTP for scanning to email and even LDAP for uh, Active Directory integration here. Uh, each one of these areas has its own separate submit button. So if you're filling this out down the page, you'll have to click submit in each one of these sections. Sometimes you have to go into the services settings and then you have the same tabs here. SMTP, uh, if you need to change the port number, you'll have to come to this page, Services, SMTP, and then the port. Uh, LDAP settings, you'll have to add a global address book here, and you can see here there's more uh, customization on this page as well. Now if you're setting up user control where you want your users to have to log in at the copier to make uh, copies or scan or fax or anything like that, you'll go to this user control tab and you can create authority groups if you'd like underneath the authority group page click add and you can create specific uh, parameters per user if you'd like to restrict color you can do that here prohibit color printing uh, prohibit color scanning if you'd like all that information is here and once you create the authority groups then you can go to your user list and add a new user. And this will be, you know, Sally. And then you can put her name or, or uh, login name and password here. Or if you'd rather use a code rather than the uh, username and password, you can do that as well. But I'll just show you the authority groups here. Uh, if you created a new authority group for called Color Prohibited, for example, you would assign that user their authority here on this page and then submit it. Now if you'd rather use numbers than a username and password, you go to default settings and enable the user control and authenticate by a user number rather than login name and password here. Now that's about it for basic operations. If you need to know how to do anything further, uh, drop me a comment on this video or you can contact us through our webpage which is equipmybiz.com. Thank you.